Hi everyone, welcome to Wild Writing in the Time of Corona. We're on day 434 and we're going to um, look at a poetic form that's been quite in the news a lot recently. Um, Radio 4 Front Row ran a section on it and the Bradford Literary Festival is um, also looking at this particular form of poetry. And it's known as the Gazelle, or I think probably if you, uh, it could be said also the Guzzle. I have done this before, oh, quite a few, quite a few uh, months ago, but I thought I'd have another go at it. And it's um, it's quite a tricky poem to write. Its, um, its derivations are um, Arabic, Persian, um, and it consists of at least five syntactically complete couplets. So that basically the meter and the rhythm should be um, the same in each of the couplets. Um, and each couplet ends with the same word or phrase on the second line. This is called the radif. So you establish that on the first, uh, the last word of the first couplet, and that's the last word of every couplet or last phrase. And before the radif, there is the rhyming word, um, the couplet's rhyming word, um, and that appears twice in the first couplet. This is called the kafir, and um, this is quite um, tricky. So it's the word that comes before the radif, and you have to find a different sounding word, different rhyming word for each um, each couplet. And the last couplet includes a proper name, often the poet's. Um, and it's often, I think, um, a poem, a poetic form that allows for a sense of sense of longing. Um, and it's really rewarding to write. I don't say that I've done it particularly um, well here, but um, and it, and the the subject of it is completely up to you. I quite like how this one has turned um, turned out. I, ha I made a couple of little alterations um, to it. Um, syntactically, I don't think all of my couplets are the same, but they're fairly close. I think for me, the trick was getting the radif and the um, kafir right. Um, but anyway, this is mine. Um, and um, it's, um, it's, it's dedicated to a person, so I didn't manage... Well, I kind of managed to get the person's name into it, but um, I've dedicated it to one of my favourite um, singers. And so this is a guzzle for Bruce Springsteen. Living each day, trying to face the world, freeing captive birds can become another life and time when I hear your words. In the river, when I knew we were drifting apart, in my mind I was heading out. They took my fear, your words. Grappling with death, sorry, grappling with loss, with death and love, I longed for a mansion on the hill. Those songs walked along with me. They sang me across every frontier your words. For I am a woman on fire. My hungry heart lost its brilliant disguise, but you see me. Always your music carries me, lifts me up and clear your words. Feet on this English ground. I'll never be the one on the Tucson train. I'll meet with Pushkin or Fitzgerald, but like them, they're here, your words. When I woke up this morning, I had stones in my mouth, each one a pearl, never a lie, from the oyster shells of your career, your words. And that's my guzzle for Bruce Springsteen. Um, and um, I hope hope you liked it. Hope you found it interesting. I certainly did. And um, 
do post any questions you have or uh, email me if you'd like any feedback on any of your poems. So um, I shall say goodbye for now and see you in a couple of days. You take care. Bye-bye.